One of the most important yet overlooked pieces in a golf bag would be the golf grip. We're lucky enough today to have the CEO and president of Lampkin Golf Grips, Bob Lampkin. Bob, good to see you. Kyle, thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about golf grips and why golfers overlook them so much. Well, it's interesting because golfers have had such great technology over the years with the way golf clubs have developed, but the grip seems to be lagging a bit behind in the importance of playing consistently in the game. They say the most important part of your club is this because that's where you're hanging on to the golf club and yet you look at golfers' grips and they're just worn and they're tattered. Right. A lot of, you know, most of the golfers, they go out and they want to buy the new high tech and the latest and greatest and that's all great. But the golf grip is the only connection to the golf club. So if, if it's actually worn or improperly sized, you're not going to get the full impact of the new product that you just bought. And if you're using a worn golf grip, how does that affect your golf game? How many strokes are you losing in your golf game? It increases the tension in the golf swing, in your forearms, in your hands. And what that does, it inhibits you from swinging freely. What happens is when the grip gets worn, you start choking here. Whenever you see this, mm -hmm. or you see the whites in your fingers, yeah. you, what it does is it keeps you from actually turning, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And Because what you want to be able to do, it's like a tennis racket whip. Yep. You want to let it go. Absolutely. So with the light, with the light grip pressure, it allows you to get back and it allows you to generate the swing speed. And instead, they're white knuckling because they're, they're white knuckling, the and the club is only going to here, right? right? right. But if you it, you want to be you want to be from your from your elbows down, mm -hmm. you want to have this thing where it's just nice and whippy in your hands. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to feel like you're losing the grip. Mm -hmm. How often should someone change their golf grips? I always say if you're playing once a week mm -hmm. and you're practicing once a week, you should change your clubs once a year. Okay. It's risk because a round of golf. Um, is, you know, you're, you're using all the clubs in your bag and whatnot. Yeah. But if you're practicing, there's a full bucket of balls right there, yeah. right? Yeah. So you're going through your bag. That's like playing around a golf. Of course, yeah. So, so once a year, you recommend right, new, once new a grips. Year. And during the course of the year, you should be maintenance your grips. Simple soap and water mm -hmm. okay. will work with this. Getting your clubs regripped is a matter of, of just going into your local pro shop or to your retailer. They can do them in 15, 20, 30 minutes. It's a very easy, low-cost fix to improve the consistency in your game. Mm -hmm.